Okay, hi everybody. Hey, I'm just doing um, a quick little video um, just to clarify some things. I um, I took yesterday, I it was a busy day for me, so um, I am back into the course today and oh my gosh, lots of questions about the assignment. So I thought I would go ahead and just talk to you about it a little bit, okay? First of all though, before I start that, I wanted to say that um, you know, when I post the, my announcements, my video announcements, and then you see here, it says click here to fill in the Google form after you watch the video. I'm going to ask that you all do that instead of put your um, responses here. I mean, your responses are awesome, so it's not that they're bad. It's just that I want, I want to put them in one place. And so just after you watch it, just click here and then... Um, you'll get my Google form and then just click over what you did. Like this one, you're going to click into here and say other because this isn't one of the module ones. Um, it's kind of an in-between one. So you can just say whatever the topic that you have. That what, Well, what is the topic? Assignment um, clarification. You can just put that or something. It doesn't matter. I'll know when it is because it dates, timestamps it for me. So anyways, and then let me know, you know, if you had any questions or concerns after this video about the assignment. Okay, so um, back here, let's see. Alrighty, so here we are. Oh, wait, I don't want to do that. I think I lost our site. Hold on. Let's see, let's log back in. There we go. All right. So I wanted to say that, um, so that was that. And then um, you've got two assignments. Uh, the first one is the task stream. Um, and let me go there. My computer's being but a little slow, but I have about 20 tabs open. So that could be my first problem. Uh, come on there assignment okay we've got two assignments task stream assignment which all that is is you got to make sure you have a task stream account and then you upload a just a one sentence on a document with your name on it saying I have my task stream account is good to go that's all that is it's not even worth any points but it will be worth points at the end because if you have to um, log in to task stream and post your ta your final benchmark in task stream in order to get credit so I mean that's big points so you want to make sure you have that the second one though is the unwrapping the technology standards now that this I know I don't want this to scare you off because this is probably the most confusing assignment of the whole eight weeks and so I'm sorry I, I, I can't change it really because it's connected to a rubric and stuff so if we look at the rubric, this is what you need to have in here. Okay, part one, a graphic organizer. So a graphic organizer is just like, it's a Venn diagram. Remember Venn diagrams? You have, you know, two circles here. I have, a, I have an image of it right here. This is a Venn diagram. What you're doing is comparing, and whenever you compare, you can use a Venn diagram. So you've got whatever, you know, standard set A, on this side <laughs> and then a second set of standards on this side and everything in the middle is kind of where they overlap the things that are the same about A and B so I'm looking for synthesis here I don't want just copy paste stuff on here I want I want you to have evidence that you're thinking about what you're comparing I mean that's the whole point but um, so graphic organizer clearly portrays comparisons between nets s for teachers and a set of academic standards okay now I'm gonna modify this assignment if this is like just I guess too confusing which it can be then I'm gonna modify the assignment a, a bit I'm gonna upload this and I'm gonna let you do this C compare and contrast the national educational technology standards for teachers 
with the ones for students. So compare the teacher nets with the student nets. There are some similarities, but there are some distinct differences. So I, what I don't want is I don't want you to pull up those standards and copy paste everything in there. That's not it. I want a, I want a good solid evidence that you thought about and you really digested both those sets of standards. And you could pick out, like for instance, I can tell you one thing. The teacher nets, the word model is in there a lot. So teachers are modeling the use of educational technology. So that's different. That's something that just goes with that set of standards. And so this, the children nets, they, there are specific things you know, to them. And then some, in a lot of places they overlap. So that's the Venn diagram right there. So this would be the nets T, this would be the nets S, and this would be everything that is the same. So some people, when they do this assignment, they make three columns. And the two outside columns, you know, if they don't want to, you know, do a, a Venn diagram like this, they don't want to use the circles, that's okay. But you can use three columns. So the two columns on the outside are the first set of standards and the second set of standards. And then the column on the inside is everything that's um, similar. You know that applies to both of them so anyways that's part a and then part B it's got um, you know the prompts are here you know just write the paper answering these prompts um, and here's what the rubric says so 40% this is a big chunk the graphic organizer is almost 50% and if you just do it and I can see that you thought about it and it's not just copy paste you'll get your full credit on that so I'm pretty generous when it comes to that. I need to see effort and stuff, but, but don't worry about your grade because I'm pretty generous when it comes to the grades. So don't worry. Here's the part two. The essay expertly and convincingly discusses the NETS S and many optional technologies in a specific grade level through the lens of the NETS S. So what you're doing is this. You're thinking about, yes, I'm going to be a third grade teacher. This is how, how I would answer all these questions from a third grade teacher's point of view. So, I'm a high school physics teacher. And in my class, I'm going to be thinking about things through a high school physics teacher's lens. So, that's this for number two. Which requirements for the grade of your choice do you feel are right on target? So, that's... Um, if you're a high school physics teacher or if I'm a third grade teacher, which of these in for third grade, the NETS S, which of those pieces sound like they are really right on? Kids can do it. Um, it's probably happening already in the schools or which ones aren't going to be easy to implement? That's number four. And so what what's listed in the NETS for students that really feels unreachable to the, con the um, grade level or um, content area that you think you're going to teach. Okay? Okay. Hopefully that's good enough. Then, of course, you know, you've got your, the thesis and, I mean, you just read the rubric here. You need to write well. I don't want to see typos, you know. I will, I'm not, I, I'll help you. Um, you know, with your typos, but um, make sure you rev um, kind of review your paper and edit your paper. Um, the formatting elements, you have, to, it should be 12 point, it should be double spaced, Times New Roman or Arial. Um, and it's right here, it says so. So it's, it's not, it's not a secret. And then the in-text citations. Again, if you, you need at least three resources that are less than five years old and not the textbook. And then within the, the paper, you should, if you've got three down there, you should have a, at least one citation from each of those. That's just good writing and scholarly writing. Okay? So um, that's it. Let me say cancel to that. And all right. So what I'm going to do is I will upload this document. And so, like I say, if you're struggling, then... Um, then do this one. Just pick the technology stand or the national educational technologies for teachers, 
and the ones for students, and then do the compare and contrast that way. Okay? Okay. Well, I hope that's good enough. And um, um, like I say, I'm just back. I just took a day where I, I didn't get in the, in, you know, in here. But um, I see, you know, we've got a lot of activity going on in there. So thank you so, for that. I'll get in there and, and um, kind of check in with you guys and see where your thinking is at. But we've got, you know, you've got through the weekend. Nothing's due till Sunday, I believe, at midnight. And I'll be around. So if you need me, text me. I love texting. Text me, text me, text me. 602-463-0228. Make sure to tell me who, who it is that's texting me, though. All right? All right. Thanks for watching my video. And um, I guess that's it. Don't worry. Don't freak out. It's all going to be fine. I'm here for you if you need any help. And just shoot. Just do the best you can and, and hand it in. And if there's any glaring errors or if, you know, you kind of don't hit the mark, then you can redo it. It's okay. I'm all for the learning and I want everybody to get an A. So I can help you do that. Okay? If you're willing to put in the work and the time. Okay. That's it. Have a good day. Let me know if I can help you.